Hello fellow Inquisitors, Split Persona here, and welcome back to Season of the Void, brethren. We almost have the very first tier completed. We only need two more objectives to do. The first is we need five more Cortex Fragments, and we have to use a consumable buff item, which you can actually get those um, as just either a random drop or if you go over here to the store, you can purchase them. One of these here, the consumables. Now, I don't want to buy one because they cost some fate and I'm saving my fate in order to upgrade my tech tree because it takes a lot of fate to upgrade it. And yeah, the sooner we get our tech tree upgraded, the better off we're gonna be. But we're gonna go and we're gonna complete another story mission here. Chapter three, Machine Spirit. So we're gonna travel to that location and commune with the tech. My tech priest, Omnicron Ark, is adamant that I must find a special cogitator to contact the machine spirit of the martyr directly. This could be my only way to locate Klosterheim on this colossal vessel. I've noticed an uncharacteristic excitement in Omnicron's soulless mechanical features. He is clearly intrigued by the anomalies. Well, as a tech priest communing with a machine spirit, that would be a very big deal. <laughs> tech priest, I want you to go over my mission details again. Acknowledged. You need to find Lord Klosterheim, but you lack the data on his whereabouts. Consequently, the most logical solution is to find the authority with the actual knowledge. Conclusion? You must seek an audience with the powerful machine spirit of the Martyr. How shall I do that? I'm not a tech priest. Correct. I'll guide you through the necessary administrator login litanies. First, you need to find a special terminal. A new sphere cogitator. Should I know what that is? This information is irrelevant for you at the moment. The closest terminal is located on Deck B, Umbra 11. Not far from your location. Praise the Omnis Sire. All right. Let's go find this cogitator. Let's activate our shield. Activate our ring of fire. Let's go purge some chaos spawn. Oh, they just melt before me. And I have definitely leveled up quite a bit. Um, I am actually level 45. And I actually forgot to show off what I had here. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to, after we complete this mission, I'll have to go over everything. But, uh, let's get through this area. Oop. Make sure we pick up everything from the destructible items. All right. Tech Priest, what shall I do when I find the mainframe cogitator? Place seven incense sticks around the terminal, cleanse your soul of harmful emotional subroutines, recite the litany of mainframe access. You are aware that I Noted. I suggest that you open up the screen and enter your inquisitorial all access codes. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm not a tech priest, buddy. I don't have implants and all that other stuff. So, uh, I have psyker powers. 
Boom! Blow those all up. All right, let's go this way here. You wanted to talk to me, Inquisitor? I need more information, Costa. I'm very close now to him, but I'm still in the dark about his obsession with the Master. You used to be part of his retinue. What's he looking for? An ancient secret, that's all I know. But you are mistaken, by the way. It's not only his obsession. There are others like him. Inquisitors dedicating their lives to seeking the legend of Uther Tiberius. Like a group of specialists? I'd rather call them a secret sect. Before he rose to the ranks, he used to serve under a Lord Inquisitor who was similarly obsessed with the hunt for the martyr. It must have rubbed off on him, you know. Turned him into a fanatic. Witness the glory. Ah! Probably his. These noble outgrowths again? This area needs to be clean. Teacher or a student or something along those lines. A fellow inquisitor. But we'll soon find out as soon as we find Klosterheim. Let's cleanse this Nurgle filth. the best way possible with a giant psychic flaming nuke incoming <laughs> I love the fact that I can just basically nuke everything around me just so much fun oh all right Let's see. Drop a nuke on top of this. All right. There we go. Whoop. Ah. I seen the trap too late. I see this one. All right. Inquisitor, I was thinking about our previous conversation and I remembered something. Something useful. It's more like a rumor, to be honest. But you might want to know that Klosterheim's superior, the Lord Inquisitor I mentioned, was apprehended and killed by the Grey Knights. The Grey Knights? <laughs> I have no idea, but it must have been something serious to earn that kind of attention. And it would explain why his adept turned out the way he is, even if he was found innocent that time. Don't jump to conclusions just yet. The Inquisition moves in mysterious ways. It's never just light or dark. You should already know that. The, the Grey Knights. Oh. That's not good. Yeah, that definitely explains why Klosterheim is the way he is. And it definitely confirms that it definitely was his mentor. So. Apostle of Nurgle will take him out. Look at that, just melts before us. As I clear out the area. Yeah. 
can't quite access the terminal when there's enemies trying to kill me. Not that they would succeed, but... Chaos spawn! Burn! Looks like there's one more pustule up here. Drop a nuke on it. Take it out the rest of the way. Take out those there. Open these chests. There's a few enemies over here. That we'll take out real quick. Hey, we leveled up! Nice! Let's activate this cogitator. New sphere connection initiated. Error. New sphere connection initiated. Error. <laughs> That's not priest. I cannot access this cogitator. My data service digested the diagnostic feed and detected some anomalies in the login system. The machine spirit is protected by custom seals and potent tech wards. And now repeat that in proper. The local network has been modified, and we can't access it now. But tech litanies revert to their default setup in case of serious power shortage. If you shut down the electric grid on the deck, you have a limited time frame to access the new sphere mainframe with the default codes. So that's my next task then. I'll return to the ship. All right. So we completed that one. Nice. Let's see if we got any good loot. And then I'll uh, I'll show you guys what type of setup we're running right now. Yep, we leveled up again. Cheating death. All right. So, what we have right now is I have, as you can see, a lot better gear than last time. <laughs> we have this implant. Cooldown reduction for Thunderbolt of Authority. We have this inoculator. Thunderbolt of Authority hits have a 1.4% chance to trigger the inoculator for free. So that I just have to go and customize all these things, which I have not had a chance to yet. And then we have this here. Thunderbolt of Authority applies heat vulnerability on hit. So since we're dealing a lot of hit di or uh, heat based attacks, a heat vulnerability is a very good thing to have. And then we have, you know, this staff here that we've been using, the Thunderbolt of Authority, causes five stacks of burn. So that's our primary setup that we're using right now. And then I did put a couple of points into the heat attack tree. I put uh, one point into the uh, DOT tree. And then we have a few in health one into the warp resistance, um, a couple in support, and then other than that, we're just pretty much still maxed out on the psychic debuff and psychic combat as of right now. So, let's 
let's take a look at the inoculator while we're right here, actually. So, we can remove this one. Restores 10% HP per second for 5 seconds on use. So let's see what else we can add. 5 HP... Let's see, what else is there? Dot immunity. Restore suppression. Hmm. Removes all debuffs. 20 HP per second for 20 seconds. That one I think will do where it restores the uh, the suppression. And then cooldown reduction will remove that and see what else we can get. Purifier. Extract. Extra duration would be very nice, actually, for that, because that would increase this one here from 5 seconds to, I believe it would be probably around 7. So that would be a very good one to have. So that right there, I think, is going to be our inoculator for right now. So let's continue on with the next mission. Someone sealed off the main cogitator with powerful tech litanies, and I cannot access the machine spirit. I suspect it was Clusterhide. Omnicron Arc believes that a major power shortage could purge the cogitators and that any other solution would be a blasphemous act against the machine spirit. Alrighty then. Let's go cause a uh, power shortage. Basically give it a, uh, hit it with a big giant shock stick. <laughs> That's not going to anger it at all. That seems very Do you tech need adept. to reiterate the specifications of your current assignment? I don't think so. I need to find the central switch in the generatorum. I turn off the switch, power goes out. It can't be that complicated. This statement contradicts all ancient doctrines regarding how heavy machinery should be operated, but the priority of tech philosophical debates is currently very low. Be watchful. The genitorium is protected by automated defense systems. Uh, basic, basically, we just told the tech priest the equivalency of a caveman telling a computer geek push button <laughs> me me push button yeah the tech priest is probably cringing right now <laughs> whoop did not see you hello okay go away all of you mm. I can't silence the alarm, I'll face some serious resistance. No, we won't. There is no more alarm. What alarm? There's no alarm. I don't see it. <laughs> All right. Take out the sentry gun. Okay. So let's continue onward. And yeah, we need to go this way. Let's 
take out those enemies. Take out this trap over here. A lot of servo skulls. They're definitely everywhere. The alarm, I'll face some serious resistance. Take out all of you. Rocket turret. Alright, let's recharge our shield here. Noticed a large number of reinforced doors along the way. All of them shut tight. Do you have any idea where they could lead? No, we're good. Lack the necessary information, but the energy consumption of the restricted chambers looks extremely high. That doesn't sound very reassuring. No, it doesn't. And we want to turn the power off. I don't think that's a good idea. I say we leave the power on. Maybe just type please and thank you to the machine spirit and see if it'll answer. Oh, I keep missing those traps. <sighs> All right. It's going to never end. I'm glad to see that some spark of the Imperial Creed still remains in the darkness of this wretched place. My duty will not end until I have carried out the task you gave me. Did you say something, Inquisitor? You sounded extremely strange for a moment. One of those trance-like, sacred states of mind. It felt great. You shouldn't worry about me. I suspect that these emanations are trying to tell me something important. I'm concerned about your condition, Inquisitor. We should take a look at you again when you return. I'm no doctor, but I think you've inhaled too much Nurgle gas. Whee! A wheel of doom! Alright, let's see what else we have. Oh, there's floating mines everywhere here. Blow up as many of them as I can. Before they blow me up. Alright. Let's take out that. Let's take out this turret before it causes me any problems. Alright. Here's the cogitator. Shutdown sequence successfully initiated. Tech litanies reverted to default. Inquisitor, your next task is to find the closest mainframe cogitator. Anything else I should be concerned about? Threat assessment in progress. The answer is yes. The doors leading to the restricted areas are now open. Potential assailants are emerging from the chambers. Oh, nice. So I have company coming. Well, if that's the case, let's recharge the shield the rest of the way. Where do we have to go? All the way down there. All right, let's see what we got here. Chaos, of course. Take them all out. Ouch. Don't headbutt me. Drop a 
nuke on you. All right. Continue onward. I think we need to go this way. Who are you to stand against me? And of course the turrets don't fire on them. No, why would they? Get out of the way of him. There we go. Drop a nuke. Warpeat down a little bit here, take out this standard bearer, and take out the plague ridden. There we go! We are nearly there. Reach your destination. Access the terminal and initiate emergency shutdown. Yeah, yeah, give me a sec. Got a bit of a group here. All right. Ouch. All right. We got them. Let's get these chests. Sweet. I'm here, Tech Priest. Access the terminal. Your inquisitorial codes should work. That's... Something is wrong, Tech I still can't log into the system. I have analyzed the available data. It is not the machine spirit preventing you from accessing the new sphere. I have fresh evidence that the network litanies have been modified on core level by fellow brethren of the Adeptus Mechanicus. I can't turn off an override implemented by a tech priest. Correct. You will require my personal assistance. We must go to the data sanctum together where I will attempt to seek audience with the machine spirit by binary apotheosis. You can return to the bridge now. Okay. So we get to go with the tech priest again on the next mission. Nice. Although we're probably going to have to go and protect him while he's going and interfacing with the machines. <laughs> Oh, I hate protect missions. They're never fun. Oh, open loot chests. Grand plunder. Nice. So, I think that is going to be it. So, yeah. Next mission. Secure the data sanctum for Omnicron to contact with the machine spirit. That's our next mission. So, yeah. We'll do that in the next episode, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe, and I will see all my fellow Inquisitors in the next episode. Have a good day!